because the purpose of the legislation is to um, increase transparency and accountability, my advice to organization is generally to err on the conservative side and register. Um, the consequences of not registering are potentially quite severe. In Ontario, it's a fine of up to $25,000. Um, dollars at the federal level, it's a fine of fifty thousand dollars if it's on a summary conviction, and potentially two hundred thousand dollars, or even a prison sentence of up to six months. And in terms of the consequences of actually registering, my experience is the name goes on a list that people can find on a website. People are aware that this organization communicates with. Um, public officials, but I've yet to see a CRA audit where they've used the fact that the organization is a registered lobbying organization as a factor against the organization from the perspective of its compliance in, you know, for political activities purposes. And I see that often in my practice. People think, oh no, I'd better not put my hand up and identify that I lobby because I'm concerned that CRA will see that I engage in too much political activities. Now, it may be a factor that they consider. I've yet to see that in real life in terms of the audit activity. And I've seen lots of audit, audits related to political activities.